conic section is composed of four different types of graphs that you can um, get by intersecting a plane with a right circular cone. And a right circular cone looks much like an hourglass, so it would look like this. Two cones with their pointy parts touching, and then what you do is you take a plane You take a plane and then you can slice your two cones from any angle and then you should get one of the four different types of um, graphs in the conic section. So the first type of graph that we're going to talk about is the circle. So you get this when you take your plane and go through your cone, one of your cones, um, right through like that. So it's straight so you get a circle and then the second type of graph that you can get is an ellipse which is an oval and you can get this by going through your cone um, diagonally or at an angle so goes through like that your ellipse is right over there and then your other type of graph that you can get is a parabola, and then the way you'd get this graph would be by going through like this. So you are um, you're slicing one of your cones but not touching the other, but you're not going to be going through the entire, the rest of the cone. You're just going to be like, kind of like going in partially to that cone, so you're going to get this a parabola and then your last type of graph that you can get is an uh, um, hyperbola and you get this by going through both of the cones so you'd get this or this so these are your four types of graphs that you can get let me label them circle Circle, <laughs> circle, and then ellipse, and then parabola, and hyperbola. Okay, so that was just a brief introduction to the four different types of um, graphs that you have in your conic section. And then I will be making um, videos on each of the types of graphs, um, showing you their equations and how to graph them. But um, this should have given you a good, a good idea as to how um, we get our four different types of graphs in the conic section.